Hey guys, thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Today I'm really excited to collaborate with my favorite brand, Lela Foods. I'm making a flavorful dish, Singaporean rice, in which I'll be using their extra long basmati rice. I'm also going to give a little twist by using chicken tikka masala. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The ingredients I need for this recipe are two cups of Lela extra long basmati rice, 200 grams of spaghetti, 400 grams boneless chicken cubes, half a cup of cabbage, some fresh coriander, one onion cubed, two tablespoons of corn flour, some red chili flakes, so that's optional, one carrot cubed, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon ginger garlic paste, two tablespoon ketchup, a splash of lemon juice, some cumin powder, green chilies. I've also cut here some peppers, and I am using chicken tikka masala, so I'll be using one tablespoon of that. I'm going to show you how I make boiled rice. So I have taken two cups of Lela extra basmati rice and I soaked them for 20 minutes. Here I've got water, I've added some oil and salt and I'm going to add in the soaked rice in it. After adding butter, I'm going to lower the flame and leave it for 15 minutes on slow flame. It has been 15 minutes and I'm going to open the lid of my rice and show you how long and fluffy they are. I've added some oil and I'm going to add in the chicken. I'm going to cook the chicken for about 4 to 5 minutes and then I will add the rest of the ingredients. Adding one teaspoon ginger garlic paste to the chicken. The rawness of ginger garlic paste has gone and the chicken is white in color. At this point, I'm going to add in the carrot. Peppers. Onion. And leave it to cook for about two minutes. At this point, I'm going to add in the cabbage and let it cook for one more minute. Now I'm going to add in all the spices. So that's chicken tikka masala, chili flakes, some of the green chilies, ketchup, Soy sauce, a splash of red lemon juice, and salt according to your taste. Give it a good mix and leave it for two more minutes until the chicken is all done. Now I'm going to add in the cumin powder and some green coriander and leave it for a couple of more minutes. Now my chicken mixture is ready. The last thing I'm going to add in is corn flour. I've just added some water in there and now adding the corn flour. That's how the final chicken mixture looks. It's all chicken and chicken is all tender. So I'm going to just turn down the flame and do the layering. Now I'm going to show you how I make the mayonnaise sauce. So here I've got around one cup of mayonnaise. That's one small cup of ketchup. So I'm going to add in the ketchup in the mayonnaise. I've saved some red chili flakes. So I'm going to add in that. And some ginger paste, ginger garlic paste. Mix it well and the mayonnaise sauce is ready. Now I'm going to show you how I do the layering of Singaporean rice. So here I've got rice, that's spaghetti, mayonnaise sauce and the chicken mixture. 